Cape now where Mum Zondeni Veronica Sobukwe will be laid to rest in a special official funeral. She's being honored by government for her pivotal role in fighting apartheid. Mum Sobukwe died at the age of 91 at her home in Khrafrenet. Our reporter Spamandla Goge is there and he joins us now. Uh, Spamandla, I understand you'll be in conversation with uh, the PAC's president, Mr. Narias uh, Moloto. It's over to you. Well, to do the first of all, let me ask Neba to give you the live visuals of Mr. Meloto being escorted by the police. I'm not in front of your picture now because there are tensions here. He's being chased away. He's leaving the gate. This is happening as we speak. Some PAC members didn't want him to speak to the media to do interviews because there are two factions in the PAC. He's not uh, uh, being recognized by some. But we are joined by Mr. Lutando Mbinda, who is the president of the PAC right now. Uh, we will have a chat with him, but I guess this is not the start that was expected, especially when South Africa is sending off one of its own struggle icons and heroines. It's not an exaggeration to say there's been drama and chaos as the family has made its way inside the church behind me. That's where the first part of the program will start. Uh, I think on my right there is another chaos going on there. It's quite a dramatic morning. I guess it's, it's quite embarrassing for South Africa, but we are joined by the president of the PAC. Baba, thank you very much for your time. These chaotic scenes do not occur well for a send-off of this heroine. Yes, um, I, I understand what you are saying, uh, but I have not seen any chaos. It's just that, you know, members of this organization uh, are fed up with what uh, media people are doing, more especially by trying to promote uh, this certain individual at the expense of the members of the Pan-Africanist Congress. So there is no chaos. It's just that people are saying, uh, you are not our leader, and then our leader, we know who our leaders are, and therefore, you see... You With all due respect, sir, but I saw Mr. Mlojo being punched, and police had to escort him. He was not allowed inside this church behind you. That's chaos. I am... Uh, but what I know is that uh, uh, people have uh, requested him not to attend the funeral. Uh, because of the the anger that he has caused to the members of the party. Let's talk about Mama Sobu when now we are honoring her. It's her send-off. Surely she would not be pleased that she's being sent off when there are these tensions in the PAC, her home. We have been to uh, Northern Cape and the purpose of us to meet in the Northern Cape was to obviously deal with the, ten the, the, the tensions and uh, the person that is promoted by the media houses in this country was also invited to be part of that uh, unity conference. As far as I'm concerned, there are no tensions of the PAC. PAC is united and what you see here is a PAC which is united. And, uh, and as you have, uh, as you know, that we have also made it very clear that uh, the doors are open for anyone to be part of this unity. This is what Mama Sobuke wanted. This is what she has been praying for. Each and every time we come to Hraif Renet, she will always tell us that, uh, uh, why are you doing this to this organization? Why is this organization in Tatas? And the reason why we went to Northern Cape it's not because we wanted to go to, no to Northern Cape Party. It was the best way to honor Umama Sobuko. PAC is united as a solid rock. Uh, so you don't have to say there are tension. There are no tension in the PAC. I still, man okay. I still maintain because I saw them. I was here when it happened. But let's talk about Mama Sobuko's legacy. Has South Africa done enough to honor her? even though she has always been overshadowed by her late husband, but she is a struggler icon in her own right. 
Umamu Sobukwe did not get the recognition that he deserves. And it's not only Umamu Sobukwe. The same trend that has been happening to uh, uh, the, our founding president, Undate Sobukwe, they have never been given the recognition that they deserve. And you will know that even Umamu Sobukwe was uh, in a public hospital. Uh, she has been lonely here, only visited by members of the PAC. Uh, she has been struggling. Uh, the same detention that happened to uh, our first president, Mangaliso Sobukwe, uh, uh, when he was alive and even until he, even on his death, is the same thing that has been happening uh, even to Umama. He has never been given. It is a bit now he is getting a, a, an official funeral. Of course, we have requested that as the PAC, but at the same time, uh, the intention was not to make sure that that EPAC does not feature uh, properly uh, in this funeral. Even if you look at the program today, you will see that there is no mention of the name Pan Africanist Congress of Azani. So we are very, very much concerned because we cannot allow uh, the, the, the name and the history of this organization to be deleted by anyone. Okay, she departs at a time whereby there is the land question in South Africa. South Africa is grappling with the land question. The PAC was founded on the basis of land and freedom. That has not been achieved. You will know that uh, our primary contradiction between those who stole this land, uh, this land and the wealth of this country, it was around the land question. Uh, all of us as the uh, PAC, we always regard the Morning. land issue as the principal uh, question, and this land issue, it has not been addressed. We understand that people are just talking about their land, but they do not understand exactly uh, what we meant by saying this land must be returned back to its rightful owners. Babumbita, thank you very much for your time. Well, that's the president of the PAC. We are grappling here because they are different groupings within the PAC and I can tell you that Naras Mloto has been chased away here. He is not welcome to attend this funeral according to some members of the PAC. But part two of the program will get underway at a cricket venue. That's where the official program which will be led by government officials will take place. Mm. Spamanda, before you go, perhaps just for somebody who's planning their morning in terms of uh, when to expect proceedings to get underway there. Here at the church, they were supposed to get underway at 8. I think the family was on time. That is still on time. But we understand that around about half past 9 to half past 11, that's where things are expected to get underway at the cricket stadium. That's where the official program where Deputy President David Mabuza will deliver the eulogy. So that one will happen around 11, half past 11 this uh, afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for that. And we'll come straight to it once it starts.